Hey guys, hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? So I thought about it that I've had my struggles with finances in the UK and I'm thinking about it as a student. It can be a little bit more challenging if you came in as a student with your finances, it can be challenging for you or when you compare it to people who came in as a dependent or came into the uk as you know through other means right but as students it could be challenging because you have your 20 hours you can only work for 20 hours right and sometimes even if you're able to work for more it might not be you might not have enough time to even go and do the job and even if you do you have probably you have to pay your school fees or have other bills looking at you and to balance this you know where your finances can be demanding so today i want to share five things that I personally do to help manage my, my finances here in the UK as a student. Are you ready? Let me share my own personal, you know, experience and how I've helped, I have, you know, used those experience to work on managing my finances. Number one, try as much as possible to get a job or get your, your uh, activities around where you live, right? Wherever it is that you live, get a job close by, get a church, get somewhere that you, you you feel like you might be interested in going around that you can easily walk to, that you don't have to pay transport to, right? If you do that for yourself, you know that you're cutting cost on transport, you're cutting cost on, you know, any other expenses that has to do with moving around, transportation and, and all of that. So as much as possible, if you can get a job, go to school, trek and go to school. I don't trek and, and go to school actually. I go to school in another town, but that's an expensive uh, expenses I can manage. So it's for you to be able to check yourself and see, okay, what are the expenses I can manage? And you decide to say, you know what, I'll cut this, I'll cut that. So just kind of look at what you need as a student and kind of cut out those those um, excesses and try to stick with what works for you. But one of the major things I think will work is to try and get to <clears throat> your um basic movements try and make sure that it is around you the second thing that i advise is cook your meals don't buy meals because when i just came i used to buy this five pound meal close to close to school or more when i realized that five pound can actually make you a good a good pot of soup or a good pot of you know rice or something that can last you for a longer period of time why go and spend five pounds for just one meal right cook your meals try as much as possible to cook what you are eating whether you're single you're married or whatever just make sure that you are not buying food because that will eat into your pocket even if you don't know how to cook this is the time for you to learn how to cook your basics for me i feel like cooking is a, is a life skill doesn't relate to anybody just make sure that you know how to cook whether you're a male or a female just cook the little thing that you can cook instead of buying even you when you see it it might not apply in nigeria because nigerian cooked meals are, che- are cheaper but yeah cooked meals are not that cheap right so you need to buy your raw food and cook don't buy food outside because your money will finish you will say you don't have time but create schedules that allow you cook so when you are about to cook you can cook something that can last you for like five days stretch so you you stay on one spot and cook for something that will last you so all you need to do is to just warm it and eat so it saves you cost of you know food and all of that number three thing that you can do to cut your ex- your expenses is not to send money home yet you're not yet strong don't do that <laughs> because the truth is when people think that you're outside of the country they think that oh you have money or you're swimming inside money don't do that stand your stand your ground for now everybody should know that oh as a student you're not earning so well until you're done with school maybe you can decide to start sending money home i'm not saying that supporting your family members are not important it is important but um you need to you know you can't give what you don't have right so you need to be strong your leg needs to be strong first before you start helping helping others if you're drowning you can't help anybody right so it's not a time to start sending money home yet right um try as much as possible to say no learn how to say no oh no i don't have at this time um can you give me till so and so time you know try and say no because when people find out that you're outside of the country they think that oh you have all the money in this world it's not true right so learn to say no learn to show your vulnerability and to let people know that it's not that easy yet <clears throat> some people i think some people are beginning to understand that yeah being outside of the country does not make you rich or does not mean that you are you know <clears throat> exempted from from financial struggles <laughs> so i think those people that don't know they need to be educated and it's okay to actually tell them off in a polite way the next thing that you could consider doing is to shop from charity shops you like this neck piece i'm wearing <laughs> i tell you the amount i don't want to tell you but 
what I'm saying is shop from charity shops. Don't try and shop from the expensive ones. I go to shops to shop, but they are quite affordable. I look for the ones that are on sales. I won't lie. That's what I do for myself. I make sure that it's the cheapest one that I'm going for. And the truth is, it's not because I, I don't know good things. It's not because I don't admire good things. But at this time, I'm focused on something else in terms of my finances. So I'm not going to go and do Oju Kokoro and be looking at the one that I cannot afford. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> if you go to charity, to, to, to charity shops, you'll find really, really affordable things for as low as one pound. And guess what? Those charity shops are where you bargain, like Nigeria. <laughs> So, you know that when you, when you go to the shop, they say, oh, this thing is two pounds. Can I get this at one pound? Or can I get this two at one pound? So, you can bargain and get what you want. So, that's the benefit. Don't go to, um, um, what, what's the name of these shops now that are expensive? Because you're a student. I don't know. How did many people do this thing? Well, anyways, this is how I think you should consider curbing your finances as a student to help you. Then the last but not the least, which is the fifth point, delay the gratification. I don't like to say this. I like I like to feel like, oh, you know, you know what? Enjoy your life as it comes because nobody knows what tomorrow brings. But since you are focused on something now in terms of your finances as a student, I think clubbing every day shouldn't be your priority, right? Going trying to make sure that you have fun every every, every now and then. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have fun, but try and curb it, right? wait for the time where you're done with your school you're done with the things that you know kind of is having is digging into your 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 pocket you know that okay i can spare another 50 pounds so i'll go out and have a drink i'll go out and you know eat nigerian big meal <laughs> so you just do that okay this is a season so i'm going to focus on this season and you know deal with um my financial burdens for this season right so these have been my five tips on how to manage your finances as a student, especially in the UK, in relation to the UK, because I am in the UK currently. So, yeah, these have been my five tips on how to manage your finances. Don't go and live beyond your, your means. Don't go and chop more than because you think you're in the UK. You think that, okay, I'm going to chop and go and do what? No, don't do, don't, 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 don't do that. Okay, guys, this has been my time here. If you found this helpful and if you watched up until this point, I want you to give it a thumbs up for me give you a thumbs up and also drop a comment let me know what your struggles have been financially for those of you that are balling i can see all of you drop your comment for me in the comment section let me know how you're doing and by the way do you like my hair dami helped me make my hair and she did it for me for free <laughs> i really appreciate her though and let me know what you think about uh, my hair let me also know what you think about what I, the tips i just shared i want to know if you have a counter opinion about it i want to be able to engage with you in the comment section and please share this video someone might find this as a source of information that can help them as they're transitioning into their um, relocation experience in the uk thank you so much for watching it has been my time here until i see you on the next goodbye